Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Uprising. I'm your host again, Hydrogen Man, and today we're going to be talking about the Lourdes versus the Echo Machine. The reason I'm doing this is actually because I've had multiple people asking me questions about which unit is the best unit. And I actually just recently had another person ask me, and they're like, why don't you make a video about it? Because he was actually leaning towards the Echo. And there's many reasons why you should not go with the Echo. One of them is the water that you're drinking there is electrolyzed. You do not want to be drinking electrolyzed water. They almost talk about it like it's a good thing, the pH that it makes, but really strong alkaline water has now been proven by the Japanese who have the longest track record in this type of research that it's not good for you and causes issues with your digestive system. Your digestive system is supposed to be acidic to break down food and to kill bacteria. And so this alkaline water thing disrupts that. So that's part of it. The other part of it, well one, it's, it, it is really expensive and kind of the drawbacks in regards to the expense of it all is that It'll actually sit on your counter and you have no choice about what water you drink. It can only be used with tap water. So your water has to go through their really spendy filters and you can only drink that water. And that's unfortunately, those filters are not going to filter everything out. I'm not just a big hydrogen person. I'm also really big on high quality water. And the only way that you can purify, well, let me give you some numbers. Water has over 2,000 known contaminants. That does not even include the contaminants that we don't know about. Pharmaceuticals and other nasty things in our water. When you use a really, really good water filtration system, and I'm not talking just a Brita pitcher, I'm talking some really high-end filtration machines, they still leave about 830-odd uh, contaminants still in the water. The only way to purify your water to the utter max, and I've done a ton of research on this, is actually by distilling it, because that's the way nature does it. The sun hits the ocean, purity rises, and it comes down as either rain or snow. The only reason that the rain or snow are polluted is because the atmosphere is polluted. But what I end up doing is I actually have a distiller, and through distillation, I purify my water to 99.9% .9 purity. It's the cleanest water. Then the problem is, is that it doesn't have minerals in it, so I actually mineralize it. And maybe I can show how to do that in uh, some videos, videos in the future. So anyway, in the Lourdes, you can put whatever kind of water you want. I actually have a friend who gets water from this really like fresh spring water, and he puts that in his Lourdes. And I put distilled water. If I don't have access to this well, distilled water, I'll put some type of filtered water. So that gives me different options. The other cool part is, is that again with the Echo, it has to sit on your countertop. The Lourdes is actually mobile. You can take it places with you. You can move it to different locations. It just gives you a lot more options. The maintenance is actually a lot cheaper with the Lourdes. You really just have to change the filter every nine months. You can even push it to a year if you want to, depending on how many family members are using that water. But it has a self-cleaning mode, self-maintenance. It's super cheap to make the water. It, it's really... It makes more sense, but that's really not even the main reason. The Lourdes doesn't electrolyze the water. It has two chambers, and in one part of it, the electrolysis process is happening, but then it goes to a special membrane and simply lets the hydrogen loose into the water in the pitcher that you're actually drinking, and that water is not electrolyzed. And that's really important because what it does with the pH, it actually puts it at perfectly neutral or just a tiny bit alkaline. It's not extremely alkaline. It's literally perfect and it's it's basically the ph that your blood really wants to be in so that also makes much more sense than an echo machine and then there's other points too like some of the numbers that the echo machine are giving there they really don't seem accurate and when the water's flowing they actually use larger bubbles they don't make tiny nano bubbles the way that the lourdes makes so that's another part because the hydrogen doesn't last very long. In fact, I was just watching a, a video from, I th what's that guy's name? There's some guy online who um, who talks about hydrogen and um, I'm trying to remember his name, but this guy um, promotes it a lot, some type of hydrogen foundation. And he's doing this video where he's showing the measurement of the amount of hydrogen they can make. I believe he's using a chemical reaction specifically with magnesium. You don't want to drink that water. The Japanese have already shown now that that's not good for you either, but I won't go into that in detail. I just thought it was funny because the moment they made it, he was already like, okay, come on, let's hurry up and put the drops in. He was such in a hurry because the truth is, is that the hydrogen leaves so fast. So you can get some large inflated number and they do this a lot in the hydrogen world. They inflate the number to make it look like you're getting so much more. 
The lure does actually doesn't do that. And it's I've, I've measured these machines many times and they're very accurate. I've even actually measured them making more than what they claim. But the nice thing is that it's a steady amount of hydrogen, meaning that if you pour it into a glass, the hydrogen's not gonna be gone in 20 seconds. You know, it's gonna remain in there for, you know, a good amount of period of time. So that's another one of the differences. But in the end, I, I really hate to say this, but you you really don't don't you probably don't want to get an echo machine. That, that's all I'm really saying. And I, and I can say the same thing about the Kanga machines. They work very similar. They're awesome machines. They can do many other things. I'm not even saying that the machine is low quality. It's just that they're going about it all wrong. So anyway, I just I just thought I'd share this video because people a lot of people ask me questions about it. And you know, one of the other things actually now that I remember, excuse me, I was, I was a little sweaty. I was outside walking. Um, one of the one of the parts that I wanted to mention also was with the echo I was looking at this uh, ORP number that they make and it's actually not quite as good as the Lord is but and this is the Antioxidative power that it has but when you get that amount I looked at the pH of the water and it was like 10 point something it, it was crazy It was crazy alkaline and again you don't want to do that to your body. I know that everybody thinks that alkaline is really great. And if all you're doing is eating Twinkies and hamburgers and, and really have a terrible diet and you're really, really acidic, I'm not going to say there's absolutely no benefit because they have shown that there is some benefit to the alkaline water. What they didn't realize was that in the long term, it's not good for you. So if you just had one glass, I don't know, once a week or something like that, or after you had a really acidic meal, maybe there could be some benefit to it. But this is something that you really, we're, we're, at least I am, I'm really looking into the long term, to the long term health. I want something that's not going to give me side effects in the long term. It's like going to a doctor and he gives you a pill for an infection. You know, the, the antibiotic will maybe help you for that short period of time during the infection, but you don't want to be on antibiotics forever, you know? So anyway, again, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe, like it, whatever. I really appreciate your guys' support. And I'll keep making these videos and bringing you my knowledge. Again, thanks for the for watching the video, <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. All right.